Hi there, Anton Real here. Last weekend, Mojang, Oxeye Games, and Wolfire Games teamed up to participate in the Humble Mojam Bundle, a game jam where each developer had 60 hours to create a new game from scratch, at which point they were bundled together and offered at a pay-what-you-want price, with all the proceeds going to charity. I collaborated with Wolfire Games and wrote the music for The Broadside Express. Sadly, Due to some prior arrangements, I had a very limited amount of time to help out that weekend, but I was able to get a little bit done. The first thing I was asked to do was to create a piece of music with a somewhat ambient feel, yet something that reminded you of the desert. One of the first decisions that I made was I wanted to try and use as many acoustic instruments as I possibly could. I happen to have a bamboo flute that is tuned to the Arabic scale, a scale which many people associate with the Middle East and with uh, Jewish folk music. It seemed like it would be the right fit in this case. I started out by creating a few droning sounds. I was streaming my work while I was working on this, and one common comment was, add more cowbell, <laughs> and who wouldn't want to add more cowbell? But unfortunately, I don't have a cowbell at my house. What I do have instead, though, are some Tibetan shepherd bells, which sound, uh, you know, they're kind of similar. Here's what they sounded like in the track. After I finished the first piece, David asked me if I had time to write some music for when you succeed or when you fail. I saw David working on the animations for when you fail, and I noticed that it was kind of like fire taking over your your engine, and I kind of tried to create something similar to that in the music, something that musically took over and enveloped you. It sounded like this. A 
lot of the sounds that I had used to create that were already recorded from the piece, and then I took them and reversed them, layered them on top of each other, and I really felt like it felt like you were losing control, and that was the end. After I had done that, I decided to create some music for the success. And in this game, so far, the only way that you can succeed is to destroy the other trains. Um, I decided that for this one I wanted something a little bit more sweet, but like the first one, I wanted something that was non-rhythmic, something that could just be placed at a certain moment and it would feel like you have ended at that point. So what I decided to do was I decided to layer the flute that I had been playing to create some chords that made things a little bit more sweet. The Arabic tuning of the flute that I was using uh, happens to have what we call a major chord built into the scale. And so it does easily give you the feeling of happiness or serenity or something like that. But what is interesting about the Arabic scale are the notes in between those notes. In particular, there's a, a minor second and an augmented second as we go up the scale in between the notes of the major chord. That presented a little bit of an issue um, where things don't feel as resolved as they might normally, but I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. At this point in the weekend, I had to go to a wedding, and I figured I was finished. But when I came back the following day, I still had a little more time, and I decided to keep going. So I put together one final track, which unfortunately never made it into the game. I wanted to do something that was a little bit more percussion-based, but I still wanted to try and fall into this feeling of what I'm calling ambient exotic music. In the end, I ended up liking this track a little bit better than the first, but sadly I never got to see what it looks like in-game. Hopefully we'll see someone modded in at some point. And uh, at that point, the game jam was over. It was a fun weekend, and we raised a lot of money for charity, which was great. Um, so thanks for tuning in to this uh, music overview from the Humble Mojam bundle, and we'll see you again next time.